Hello and welcome to WTMB Today. I'm Wendy Benton, your host. I want to thank you for joining me and welcome Sharon Marr. She is the Executive Director of Main Street Cleveland. Thank you for being with me today, Sharon. Thank you. It's glad to be back. Yes, you were just here not long ago, just a couple of weeks ago, talking about uh, events going on with Main Street, and you're here today to talk about all the Christmas festivities that, that are coming up. Yes, it is coming very quickly, <laughs> so we're excited about a great weekend of activities downtown. Well, and um, specifically on the first weekend in December, December 5th, uh, we'll kind of kick off uh, the festivities for December, and that's a busy weekend as well, uh, especially for Main Street. Tell us what's going on. Well, it certainly is. We always have the Christmas parade. It's always the first Saturday in December, and the night before we do the community Christmas tree lighting at the old post office there on Broad Street and Carol's in the City. And for anyone who hasn't, who haven't been to Carol's in the City, it's just a very nostalgic, heartwarming event. And what it is is reverse caroling. So. The, once the giant trees lit there at the, at the post office steps with the help of Mayors Rowland and Davis, um, the crowd then walks from church to church in reverse caroling fashion. So the choirs from the churches actually come out on their steps and sing uh, as the crowd goes from church to church. So it's a very, uh, it's just a very neat event and just a great evening for everyone. Well, and it's a great way to get in the spirit of Christmas and um, to hear these beautiful choirs. And uh, can you tell us the order of churches that, that the group will be visiting? Yes, it starts out, um, First Baptist Church opens it at the post office and they sing, uh, usually it's three songs per, per group. Uh, then we travel to Broad Street United Methodist, then to St. Luke's Episcopal, uh, to First Presbyterian, then we'll stop at Pangle Hall for a performance by some of the lead groups, and then to First Cumberland Presbyterian, and then back to the Courthouse Plaza, where it's the finale by the Westmore Church of God Sanctuary Choir this year. Okay. So it's a wonderful lineup, and we're really excited about it, and just look forward to it every year. Yes. And, and also, in addition to the, the caroling and the churches, we have uh, Santa and Mrs. Claus. He, he always arrives and helps light the tree. And then they're in the bandstand there at the Courthouse Plaza for pictures with Santa, for the kids to meet and, and talk with Santa that night. And there's also free carriage rides around the Courthouse Square. Okay, so, and now will the carriage rides be going on simultaneously or is that before? They and start after? at 6.30 and okay. so the carriage rides are going um, as for, for some of the children as the, as the crowd is walking from church to church. Okay, and, and it's a wonderful evening. You don't need tickets. You just show up and, and enjoy the, the, the evening and the lighting of the Christmas tree and yes. for the community. And you're, you're not required to stay. You can just go around to as many churches as you want. Yes, it's about three songs per church, so it takes about an hour. It's not a, a really long event, so it's just about the right amount of time for for a walking event. So yeah, you can you can drop in and out as you as you wish around the route. Mm -hmm. uh, we have great support from the police department, so uh, it's very safe and secure as the crowd is walking from from church to church. Well, and it's beautiful downtown with the lights and and everything yeah. at, at Christmas, and uh, which goes right mm -hmm. into the parade on Saturday evening. And th that's so much fun. It really is. You know, the business owners do a wonderful job decorating downtown. We've added Main Street along with the city of Cleveland has purchased. Um, we have 30 giant snowflakes that go up on the light poles. And uh, in addition to what the stores do in their windows, and it's just a beautiful display. It's fun to come and just see what's happening. And also back to Friday night for just a minute, uh, at the Woolen Mill this year, they're doing a new event. So following the Carols in the City event at approximately 7.30, you can go down to the Woolen Mill for an outdoor movie that you can watch from your car. And they're going to have, I think, showing that night the movie Elf. Uh, have a bonfire, you can make s'mores, and just a, a fun evening for the whole night downtown. Yes, and I know the uh, you do need tickets for the movie event at the Woolen Mill. Um, uh, and I can't remember, I know it's on Facebook, Clark Campbell has mm -hmm. been uh, promoting that quite heavily, and I'm excited that's a, a very fun way to again bring families together so you're right uh, you can enjoy the festivities with the caroling around the courthouse and the churches downtown and then take your family on over to movie night at the woolen mill and but I can't remember the um, the website where you get tickets do you know 
I don't have that information off the top of my head, but okay. I'm sure it is on Facebook. <laughs> and <laughs> it and is. I'm sure you can go to the Woolen Mills website as well. Okay, yes. Well, and again, they're going to do that every Friday night mm -hmm. in the month of December, showing a Christmas movie at the Woolen Mill. Yes. So that, that's yep. a new and exciting uh, event going on uh, mm -hmm. downtown. Mm -hmm. um, and then uh, back to the parade, too. Do you? How many floats do you have so far? Uh, well, we will probably, right now, we're, we're just in the, taking the entries in. Uh, the deadline has not arrived yet. So we have averaged, over the past 10 years that I've been doing it, we've averaged about 200 entries into the parade each year. So, um, and a, a big number of those are floats. That's everything that's in the parade. And we have some really neat classic vehicles. We have beautiful floats, a lot of beautiful horses and animals. It's just, it's going to be really exciting. And uh, it starts at 6 o'clock on December 5th from Bradley High School. And it's just, it's a wonderful event. And we always, it's amazing as you're up, as you're back there, you know, during the day, we're, we're there from 12.30 to 4.30 lining up the floats. And some people will come in there with just a flatbed truck and really nothing and pull out with this masterpiece of, of lights yes. and, and Christmas <laughs> display. It's amazing what they do to, to really bring such charm and holiday spirit to this event. It is. Well, and um, I got kind of a bird's eye view last year being at the gazebo, the gazebo outside or the bandstand outside of the courthouse and watching all the floats come by and it, it is so impressive uh, what people put together and their creativeness and um, a lot of our, our corporations also have floats as well in the parade and um, just to see how the community comes together in that respect to keep this going. It's a it's a great Cleveland tradition. It really is. It's amazing. Each year we have uh, with, the, with the larger plants, uh, Mars Chocolate and Duracell have a little competition among themselves each year to see who can outdo <laughs> the other and, and they do some amazing impressive floats every year too. They do. It's beautiful. It really is. We have such great support. We appreciate Bradley High School so much for letting us invade their campus that day and, and take over with lining up the parade. A lot There's a lot that happens behind the scenes and getting that ready. The police department does a wonderful job in blocking the streets and securing those intersections as it rolls through town. And it, it leaves at 6 o'clock from Bradley and it will travel uh, on Southley Highway around 3rd Street over to Okoe, uh, north on Okoe to the Monument and then back down Broad Street to Inman, back to Keith and then back to Bradley. So it's about okay. a three mile route. And as it's amazing, the parade will loop that entire route. As, as the first cars are coming back, Santa will be coming out probably. And so at that, there's a moment there where the whole route of three miles is, is covered with the parade. Yes, well, and it's, it's usually packed. I know downtown is just packed with spectators and people enjoying that. And uh, I assume al all along the route, that it is. I've never traveled the route <laughs> to see everybody, but I know downtown it's really uh, uh, a great crowd of people. It really is, and we, we're just happy that people come out and, and enjoy all the work that people put into the floats. And we always have uh, a judging, and we choose the best of parade, and then the best in uh, the categories of business, nonprofit, schools, and um, there's one more that I can't remember at the moment, <laughs> but we, we have uh, winners in the categories and they get trophies and it gets very competitive back there. Churches, that was the other one. And the churches really do an amazing job. This congregations come together and, and they create some beautiful floats for us. And make it fun. Now, do you remember any of the winners from last year? We'll start this competition off right now. <laughs> well, Mars Chocolate was best to parade. They did this mm -hmm. amazing um, a float and the Enduracell was best in their category. Uh, and they had this train that was incredible. I can't remember which church was our winner last year, but Four Points Baptist is always in the top running. If they weren't the winner last year, they were the year before, but they always do an amazing display. Okay, well, it, it's so much fun, and, and they do a great job and just add to um, the spirit of Christmas and, and community coming together and just enjoying a wonderful evening and, and a great tradition that's been going on now for how many years? 20? Well, Main Street has done it since 2004, and mm -hmm. I know the parade has gone on forever. You know, it was the JC's parade when I was yes. growing up. Yes. And so it went to a nighttime parade, though, in 2004, where it was where all the floats have lights and entries. Before, it used to be held during the day, I think in the early years of it. So it has been going on for, for a very, very long time. It was. And yes. I want to say a special thank you, speaking of long term. Uh, Dewey Woody has been lining up the parade and helping. This will be his 18th year. Um, 
to be at Bradley and line up the floats, and he does an amazing job pulling everybody together, and I appreciate him so much for what he does. I just want to say thank you to Dewey, and Melissa, his wife, has been uh, co-chairing the event with me for the time that I've been doing it, plus a few years prior to that even. So we have wonderful volunteers who, who really make these days come together. Well, I can remember when it was during the day, back when I was young. So I know it's been going on for uh, a, a great number of years, probably mm -hmm. 25 to 30 uh, to be exact, because my grandfather was a Shriner, and my whole, all my cousins, we got to ride in the parade, and that was just a highlight of our, our year. So I do remember going back that far <laughs> when you said it was during the day, and, and now it's in the evening. So. Yes, long time tradition, uh, a lot of fun. And then to round out the um, weekend, mm -hmm. uh, also at the, um, on Lee University's campus, they're having an event as well. They have their uh, classic Christmas concert, and that, this is the 26th year for that. And it's at three o'clock at the Con Center, and you can get tickets for that. It's a free event, but you do require tickets just for seating availability, and those are available through the Dixon Center. So you can call the Dixon Center box office for information on those tickets. Okay, just so. a great fun weekend, a lot of things going yeah. on, and um, I appreciate Sharon being here to update us on that. So make sure you mark your calendars for the first weekend in December. Uh, the uh, carols in the city begin, and the lighting of the Christmas tree begins December uh, 4th at 6 p.m., and then the parade on December 5th at 6 p.m., and WTMB will also be be covering the parade so you can watch it live on TV and then on Sunday December 6th at 3 p.m. the 26th annual classic Christmas at Lee so a lot of good things and Sharon thank you again for being thank with you. us and we will see you next time on WTMB Today.